So many robots, so many regionals, so many wacky and wild finishes that we ain't even gonna have an introduction. We're just diving straight in. A nail biter to kick off week three because these events just want to give me too much to talk about. Spam and Children of the Swamp, who went head to head at South Florida, matched up with Exploding Bacon to take on Wild Stallions, who was Spam's alliance partner at South Florida, Ram Tech, and Tiger Engineering. Both sides matched up in match 11, with the three seed winning that but the one seed won the first finals match and wanted the sweep. Autonomous had some funky cone positioning with Swamp placing two for the narrow one point advantage. Teleop started with both sides being all about the cones while 1902 played defense. Blue started creeping away with the lead, but Red Lynx made it closer and folks, Y'all don't even know how close this match is. Spam pushed 1902 up the charge station for the triple balance, while 5472 dropped off a cube for their fifth link and joined their partners for their triple balance, and a 151 to 151 tie. Finals 3 started with an even funkier cone placement, but Team 59 dropped theirs, allowing Blue the 4 point edge. Red didn't seem to mind Blue's defense as their links came together. 59 almost lost it from this hit from 1902, but stayed upright to continue scoring. Swamp placed a cone to match Red's 5 links, but 5472 placed a mid cube for a 6th. Red got the triple balance, while Blue had some trouble on that front. We need a fourth match. Match four had more funky cones as Swamp dropped it for floor points and 59 missing it yet again. Blue had a one point lead, but they worked on growing it with Lynx only for Red to match. 1902's defense disrupted red scoring as the other blue bots raced to put pieces in place. Enter 5472 with a bold strategy. You can't have a defense bot if you don't have a defense bot. With 1902 sunny side up, this match looked like it was over easy. Red got the triple while Spam dropped off a sixth link before the double balance. Another close match, but the 12 point tech foul gave Blue the regional win. Literally, they won this match by 12 points. If this didn't happen, we could have seen a fifth match, but still, insane. The one seed of the Grease Gladiators, Ranger Robotics, and Tan X went against the 7th seed of Warlocks, Gur, and Dynamos. 3015 and 1595 had two pieces in auto, while 1507 had a pair of cubes as well. Red got the 17 point lead as a mad scrum broke out at midfield for game pieces to start Teleop. 3015 got a cone for their first link of the match, and 1591 switched between defense and offense. Red played some absolute shutdown D to help grow their lead. 1507 took a bad angle while going for a cube and ended up out of commission. Blue's misfortunes continued as Gur stalled out, leaving Blue with a three on one. The one seed didn't let up on scoring or defending as the lead stretched to 30 into endgame. 250 got the solo balance, while Red got the double and a fifth link completed. A wire to wire match, and Red came away with the 138 to 75 win. Let's just pretend this is the second match from Miami, Ohio. They played out exactly the same. The one seed versus two seed in the finals, with the one seed captain Bison Robotics balancing an auto. 
4028 missed the cube for their two piece, but the two seed captain Cyber Tribe got the balance at the buzzer for the lead. Both sides raced around with a huge collision taking place at midfield, but all these robots seemed fine. Blue's defense seemed to slow red down, and they had a 28 point lead into the last 30 seconds. Red got the triple balance, while Blue got a visit from the letter F. A close match, match 2 was even closer, but those grid points helped give the one seed the win. The one seed of Argos and Mars Wars, who we saw play against each other in St. Louis, took on the two seed of Rush and the Roboteers. Red had the advantage and Blue wanted a tiebreaker. Both sides had pretty similar autos and went into Teleop tied at 36. The Roboteers put up a link and then got met with Control Z's defense. Blue had the small lead, but Red's links gave them the edge. Blue couldn't keep up with Red cycles as Mars and Argos put up even more links. Red got the triple balance while Blue wobbled and bobbled, and Roaring Robotics got bucked off the station. Phenomenal showing by the one-seated alliance who came away with the 40-point win. The one seed of Bronco Bots, Blaze Robotics, and The Law took on the two seed of Ravonix, Team Driven, and SWAT. 1987 had a cool three-piece auto as 3187 balanced, and 2457 chug a lug for mobility points. 1730 had a two-piece and balance for blue, but red came out of auto with the one-point edge. 2457 started defending pieces and the blue bots, while Bronco bots put up pieces for Lynx. Blue had a narrow lead as 3184 had connection trouble, but they came to life to help with scoring. 1730 and 1710 kept Lynx coming as this one could go either way. Five Lynx apiece as Red neither wobbled nor bobbled for their triple, but Blue had issues with getting all three robots set. And if only, if only, as Red escapes with the 18 point win. The debut of the Magnolia Regional in Laurel, Mississippi saw the one seed of Wildcat Robotics, Ramageddon Robotics, and Boolabots, who subbed in for Spartabot, go against the 8 seed of Mech Tech, Team Combustion, and Team Fusion. The 1 seed beat the 8 seed to start the playoffs, but the 8 seed came away with the 11 point win in Finals 1 and looked for the upset here. 3039 got a 2 piece for Red, while Team Fusion wobbled and bobbled and couldn't get set in auto. Red entered Teleop with the 13 point lead, and it stretched as they put high links together. 1912 played defense for Blue, while 3753 did the same for Red, with this hit causing Mech Tech to fumble a cone. Blue got a triple balance, while Red just got two, but came away with the imposing 38 point win to force a tiebreaker. This time around, 3039 missed a cube in auto, while Fusion couldn't get the balance again. Blue still came out of auto with the lead, but 4336's quick links started putting Red ahead. Blue responded with links of their own, but they couldn't slow Red down as their score grew to 100 into endgame. 3753 blocked Fusion's path, but they made it for the triple balance before the clock expired. Red got the double balance as 3753 broke out the victory spins for the close 20 point win for the regional. The two seed of Horus, Voltec, and Balam Esmeralda squared off against the four seed of Dedullus, Siberius, Abdomat, Rocket Robots, and Ni 
9118? I'm getting, I'm getting what? 6348 got a cube and a balance for red, as they got a 10 point lead out of auto. 7102 put up pieces for blue, while 9118 played defense on red. Blue got the lead, but red slowly got a link to tighten the gap. Neck and neck into endgame with both sides nailing the triple climb. Just an eight point win, but a win is a win for the Red Alliance. A one seed versus two seed matchup at Arizona East. Arizona had a North and a West last year, and an East and a West this year. When are they going to finish off their compass with an Arizona South? Peninsula Robotics, who we saw at Wainimi Port Week 1, missed their second cube in auto, while Cobra Commanders got two cubes for blue. Team Tater's balance didn't, but blue still had a narrow two-point lead. All these bots zoomed around for game pieces, while this hit almost spelled disaster for blue. Red was quick with their links, and 668's defense slowed blue down as red's lead stretched to 30 into endgame. Peninsula and Robo Warriors were far from done, placing 4th and 5th links before easing up on the station for the triple balance and the regional win. The two seed of Tribe Robotics, Beach Cities Robotics, and Omnicats took on the one seed of the Nerd Herd, Phoenix Robotics, and the Robot Dolphins from Outer Space. You cannot make these names up if you tried. Blue won the first match after Red's captain no, no, took no, the no, world's no, no. longest F to start tally up in match one. In match two, 5199 missed a cube as 294's two piece gave Blue a 10 point lead. Both sides placed cubes as defense got played in the middle. Neck and neck as 687 dropped off a cube for a fifth link and Blue wobbled and bobbled and slowly got the letter F. We need a third match. The tiebreaker had Blue with another 10 point lead in auto and all bots pushing and shoving for control of pieces. Another neck and neck match as each alliance put up link after link into endgame. Red got the triple balance while 294 got a fifth link for Blue. Their bots wobbled and bobbled 1452 once again couldn't get up there. And if only, if only, as the one seated alliance took the regional by nine points. These California regionals have been giving me so much to talk about. There is a reason this is the last regional. The four seed of TKO, MVRT, and Armor Robotics faced the one seed of Spartan Robotics, Iron Claw, and Eco Robotics. But wait, the two seed only has two robots out there. After issues with 8016's robot in playoff match 11, 971 and 972 decided to just go with the two on three intentionally. They escaped elimination by just one point and won the first finals match by 10. 971's high cone went low, but their cubes and balance helped tie things at 34 in auto. 1351 stalled out pretty early into Teleop, and while 2v2 would be an even playing field, it's not with how fast the number neighbors were churning out cycles. Red just could not keep up with Blue's links as 9143 could only manage cubes on the floor 
So in terms of high scoring, it was effectively a two on one. Both sides got the double balance, but Blue got six links together for the extraordinary 53 point win and the regional victory. This week was crazy, and it's going to get even crazier. Week four will have about 14 regionals with the Israeli District Championship and a very familiar face at the Sacramento Regional. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on that debrief. I will see you next week. So until then, have fun, stay safe, and remember, gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. Control Z, looks like they may be trying to right themselves. They're using some creative physical thinking to see if their arm could push their robot back up. They are in a better position, and there they go! Control Z back on the ground, but flying in a circle.